Does the name Mike mean anything to anybody? Rated PG-13. Ladies and gentlemen, John Eddie. I'm getting, a, I'm getting Mike. Definitely an M, uh, maybe Matt. Mike. Matt, my, mm, my, Mike, Mary. Mary was my mother. Okay, okay, and, and she, she's, she died? Yes. Y- yes, she did. Okay, and she's telling me that something about the money, that the, the money is safe. Is that making sense? <laughs> Not really. Must be from somewhere else in the audience then. Hey, hey. Hey. There he is. Uh, okay, I, I'm getting someone now whose name is... G- a t- it's a... L- it's a... M- it's a... K- Kenny! Kenny says hi. Wow! First thing I, I always like whenever I sit down with somebody, I always like to talk about a little bit about the process just to explain that everything I get is symbolic. Oh, quiet, quiet down, boys. It doesn't work that way. Is your dad passed? Your dad? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Died? We told you that. And, and this, wasn't, this wasn't a good death. It was, like a, it was a sad death. It was, like a, it was like a death that made people sad. Are there two dads for you? I uh, see two male figures. So to me, I see two fathers. Did anybody miss a leg or was somebody paralyzed on one side? Mm, no. My dad had a broken leg at he one did. point. At he, he some did. point in his life, but he wasn't paralyzed or anything. His mom passed too? Mm-hmm. My mother and father both passed. And one of them either passed by their own birthday or one of them passed by a holiday? Did you ever have a sports connection with someone that is in the media business where you didn't see them for a while and then you found out that they passed? Like, did you like share a box at a game or did you golf with this person? But I feel like he passed, his passing is shocking. Who has a D name around you? Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, Kid, Kid Craddock is a, is a good friend of mine. It's the sports connection to him. We played golf together. Did you not see him before he passed? No, we, we were in contact that day. Who's the D? <clears throat> Who's the D? His name, his real name is not Kid. His real name is Dave. But his passing was very sudden. Oh, oh my God! So you guys would meet up at the same sports event or sports whatever? Well, we, we played golf together a lot. We had a very jovial relationship. I mean, we'd tease each other about everything. He died 7-27-13 because the last text message, I, I got a text message from him, he dropped dead minutes later. But I feel like you <clears throat> helped him navigate something that wouldn't be known publicly, and I don't mean health. And he's making me feel like, thank you for being honorable and not discussing that then, and clearly not discussing that now. There was a lot of pressure to disclose some things when he passed that I refused to disclose. So. Well, he appreciates that. This could all be easily researched, easily. But in actual fact, most of what John Edward actually does is simply, well, suggest things and then embellish the things that, well, work. If the person can accept it, they provide the answers. And he's there simply saying, uh, is there a D name? It turns out there is a D name. That'll be explained shortly. But it's hardly, well, convincing evidence of the afterlife. Oh my God! Is there a Milton or a Miles or an ML name that's connected to you? Separate from him now. Go to your family. Oh boy, I wish Robin was here. Can we call her? Robin to the rescue? She's got a credible memory. The place where there was a passing that's close to a celebration. My father passed um, the day after Philip's birthday. Oh my God! Okay, so then the two father figures in the beginning would have been his dad and then your dad. Yeah. Oh my God! And so he said his dad broke his leg, but was there any type of remnants of that leg break? Yes, he limped all the time. He had a limp because of the broken foot. Oh my God! I am saying this to you, John Edward. You are a liar, you are a fake, and you are the biggest douche ever. I'm getting all kinds of voices today. Woo! <laughs> what you see before you is basically my notes on this subject. Uh, some of the hits, some of the misses, and remember that most of the actual reading was edited out for the sake of daytime television. So we got the father right. Two father figures? Maybe. No one with the missing leg, no one paralysed on one side. The mother is dead. The mother and father didn't pass near their own birthday or a holiday, as far as we know. There wasn't a clear sports connection as such. The media connection was a friend who was a radio show host. However, Dr. Phil was in contact until the hour he died, in fact, via text, only a few minutes before his friend died. Something that you might say is a sports connection is that they played golf together as friends. Phil is known to be a golfer, 
and has spoken about it in several of his books. The idea of friends enjoying sports together is a no-brainer. The D makes sense as it worked as the name, or the initial of the name, of Dr Phil's friend. Much of the information was made to fit. The secrets of Phil's friend may have made sense to Phil himself, but it seems very general and unclear when it comes from John. The name Milton, or Miles, didn't seem to fit. The passing near a celebration is changed from the previous idea of Phil's father or mother dying near their birthday or a celebration. It's changed to be anyone who died near a celebration. And as a result, Phil's wife gives the answer. It was in fact her father who died fairly close to Phil's birthday. I don't think her dad makes the two fathers thing work well although you could argue that's a good hit. John didn't say the leg injury point, so him saying was there a long-term impact is fairly meaningless, to be entirely honest. Most of the answers came from Phil. John asked the questions. Oh, well, he's saying that you two used to do things. <laughs> and that those things involved stuff. The things did involve stuff, yes! <laughs> Is there anybody here that lost somebody to a suicide gunshot to the head? I don't know anyone. Nope. I'm getting that really loudly. Kind of feel like it's behind me. Whichever way that would be. There's a small group out there. I know that their actions brought about their passing, and I know that there's a C or K connection to it. John Perry's roommate shot himself in the head. <gasps> wow. Who's that? Yes. John Perry is the director. That's my roommate. Killed himself, but his last name was Krieger. And then you weren't in a band with him, were you? I was in a band with him, yes. Yeah. Oh, man! I can't believe I got fooled by that asshole! He seemed better on TV? Yeah! They must edit the shows down on television to only show him getting mostly right answers. 